morning everyone welcome back to the channel today we're headed to Lincoln to see the Guardians of Freedom which is the air show put on by the US Air Force in Lincoln Nebraska uh, my sister's husband is part of the Air National Guard so super excited to get this sneak peek at the air show it's a beautiful day in August awesome awesome Sunday and can't wait to see the show set up and seated on the flight line, it was time to watch the show. Uh, today's performers included Nebraska's ANG KC-135 refueling unit, which was that first plane that you saw, and they were followed by uh, the Horseman Aerobatic Team, which is the only P-51 Mustang formation aerobatic team in the world. should probably insert disclaimer here that although I'm a huge fan of the air show, I am never going to get all the names of these planes right, so please don't come for me if I get something wrong. Um, basically just out here to watch these amazing men and women do what they do. Uh, after the four horsemen got done with their portion of the show, the next performers up were the Navy Heritage Fleet and they started off coming in hot right off the bat with this F-16 giving us the buzz by right here. And again, in slow motion, this person was really cooking. Another thing I hadn't anticipated was just how loud these planes were. Uh, my brother-in-law gave me some earplugs, but you can see from my niece here, everybody had their hearing protection on. While I had been to the air show many times in recent years, this was the first time that I've actually watched from the flight line as opposed to the civilian side, which you can see uh, in the distance in some of these shots. It's where most of the big planes are parked over on the other side. And it gives you a whole new appreciation for all of the work that goes into putting one of these shows together. planes in these shows are amazing pilots and they get that way through years of training and experience. They are um, incredible athletes. It's a physically demanding job. You're away from your family several weeks out of the year. So I have nothing but admiration and respect for these people. These next few clips are the Air Combat Command F-16 demo team, um, also known as the Vipers. These multi-role fighters do um, air-to-ground or air-to-air -air combat. They fly in speeds in excess of Mach 2, which is evidenced by my struggles to capture them on film as they come flying by. Another thing that I appreciated about the Guardians of Freedom Air Show, in addition to being a very cool aerobatic display of talent, it's also set up to be family oriented and there were lots of parents that came with their kids. Of course, it's a free show um, and there were all kinds of activities for families with little kids to do. My little nieces had a great time. Give me a peace sign. You're so silly. I'll be honest, after watching so many performers um, go back and forth and back and forth across the sky, I got a little bit confused 
about which was which. I was trying to follow along with the program, but I think the next group was the U.S. Navy F-35, which is the first and only long-range stealth strike fighter designed and built explicitly for Navy carrier operations. And these planes are really cool because they have um, very low observable stealth performance, which enables pilots to evade enemy detection and operate in anti-access and contested environments. So pretty cool. But the next exciting thing that happened was the Blue Angels showed up. And here they are parking right in front of us and going into the building. All these people, yeah, they're going to fly planes. They're going to get in the blue planes and fly them. The most exciting part of today's air show for me today is watching the Blue Angels perform. And that's because we're going to get to see Amanda Lee, Lieutenant Amanda Lee, in her role as the left wing fighter pilot in the number three plane. Um, Amanda joined the Blue Angels in September of 2022. There she is walking in right there as the first female aviator in the group and made her flying debut in March earlier this year. So really excited to see her perform. air show would be complete without at least one pilot in a single prop plane doing sky riding activities. Um, this guy was really fun to watch. He did a bunch of loop de loops all the while, uh, keeping the crowd entertained. So we really liked Doug Ross. The plane you see coming around the corner here is the U.S. Marine Corps C-130J Super Hercules, aka the Fat Albert, and this is my little niece Natalie's favorite plane. I think he looks like a duck. Um, but in addition to being the opening attraction for the Blue Angels, Fat Albert's primary mission is to transport about 35 pounds of cargo and about six Blue Angels team members to every show site throughout the country. Um, Fat Albert has his own eight crew members and he is critical to the overall mission and you'll see a little bit later on we actually got to go inside Fat Albert and take a few pictures so that was a lot of fun. After we toured Fat Albert, it was time for the Blue Angels to perform. During their acrobatic demonstration, uh, the six-member team flies uh, F-18E Super Hornets, and the first four, Blue Angels 1 through 4, are split into the diamond formation, and then you have two um, soloists lead in opposing solos so the show alternates between maneuvers performed by the diamond formation and those performed by the solos um, the diamonds usually do uh, lower speed maneuvers loops rolls transitions roll from one formation to the other and the solos showcase high performance capabilities in their individual aircraft which is um, usually high speed passes slow passes fast rolls slow rolls and really tight turns and they are magnificent to watch in person. I recommend if you ever have a chance to go see the Blue Angels perform, you should absolutely do it. Wow, my hair is a hot mess. Anyway, I hope you all enjoyed watching the air show as much as we did today. It was awesome to see the Blue Angels up close and personal and to watch all of the other pilots and air personnel uh, do their thing. It was a warm day, I will admit, but it was a ton, a ton of fun. So if you like this video, please give it a like, consider subscribing for more amazing content, and we'll catch you guys next time.